No matter what your job is, at some point you're asked to be that presenter, the pitchman or woman, the speaker at the front of the room. And over the last few years, I've been lucky enough to do a lot of speaking. And I was one of those people that always asked the more experienced speakers at an event, what's one piece of advice you could give me or what's one area I could work on to improve my speaking? And I wanted to share with you what I think is probably the most important piece of advice that I got. And in fact, it came from one of the world's top speakers, Sir Ken Robinson, the educator, not surprisingly. And uh, we both spoke at the Cannes Advertising Festival together and I went out to dinner with Ken afterwards and I said to him, if there's one piece of advice you could give a student of speaking, what would it be? You know, what's that, that one difference that will make all the difference? And he said something that I didn't understand probably for a year. He said, speak from your heart. And I thought at first that he meant just be passionate about what you're saying, you know, bring all your emotion to whatever the topic is. But after about a year of thinking about it, I realized he in fact meant something very different, which is much more difficult. And it's know what your heart is. Because when you know what your heart is and you connect with that, everything else falls away. You stop worrying about, are you moving too much? What are you doing with your hands? What's the modulation of your voice? Am I a good speaker? Instead, there's, a, there's an alignment between who you are and what you care about and what you say. And that congruency translates to authenticity, which is the most powerful force in the room to connect you with your audience. So if I was to give you one piece of advice as a presenter, as a pitch person, as someone at the front of the room, just before you get up, before you say anything, just remind yourself what you actually care about and speak from that place, speak from your heart, and then everything else will fall into place.